Next patient to see you, Dr. Goodleheim. Why, thank you, Miss Pennybell. And may I just say you look lovely this morning. Oh, thank you. It's my new face cream. I got it from Timothy Pimpernival, the Juju Dragon. The Juju Dragon? Yes, the Juju Dragon. He lives among the marmalade bars beneath maple leaf trees. Oh, how silly of me. What a dimble peppy I'm in these days. Well, do send him in, won't you? It wouldn't do to keep the old Millie Flap waiting. Sure. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lowestock, my old gravel map. Do have a seat. Ah, uh, Dr. Google, it's simply ribbly bob to see you again. Oh, my dear fellow, <laughs> two kinds. And what can I do for you today? Well, call me an old collie popple, but I actually came to see you about the result of those tests you said before. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, it's how my brain's made of flossal berries these days. I'll just have a look. A flossal berry, Dr. Google, Why, yes, Mr. Lowestock. A big round juicy flossal berry. From the bubbly pop bushes of the creepy local plains down to Spivel Papal Island. Do you know it? <laughs> Bushes on the spinning couple of paint on the spinning couple of lines, Dr. Google said. Yes. Do you know, I think I do. Is that the one down past the Robert Woods down in the Spotsylvania Way by the Kimmy Tickle Yards? <laughs> <laughs> by the Grubber Skipper Woods down in the Spotsylvania Way by the Kimmy Tickle Yards, Mr. Lobblesop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think you're thinking of the Giggle Tipple Woods under the Ah, on the Wait, what? The of Papa Flippin' Arbor's there. You go left on Polly's Bickle Road to get to Smibble Papal Island from Mobble Boss and somewhere. Oh, right, of course. How silly of me. Anyway, Dr. Goodman, may I ask you something? Be, of course, be my guest, Mr. Lobble Stop. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Um, anyway, your test results. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Um, now, I'm afraid there's some good news and some bad news, Mr. Lobble Stop. Oh. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, the good news is you tested negative for bird flu and swan flu and, in fact, beaver flu. Beaver? Hmm. Actually, a type of bird, Mr. Lobblestock. No fact, that. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> You're <hungry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, How about the bad news? Ah, oh, yes. Um, now, there's no easy way to say this, Mr. Lobblestock. Wait. I actually did a bit of research myself and I, I think I know. You I've do? I've got a purple, purple parving perp here, haven't I? No, no. It's not, it's not synergistic syntactic syncopy syndrome. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. It's... Oh God, it's not, it's not megaloblastic, metaplastic, metastatic mansilosis. Not now. No, not no. now. <laughs> well, what is it? What is it? You're ugly, Mr. Lobblestock. <laughs> really, really ugly. <laughs> Hideous, in fact. <laughs> Your face makes children cry. <laughs> You're quite sure, Doctor. Certain, Mr. Lobblestock. The test was unambiguous. <laughs> right, Can anything be done? <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>